the less trees we will have and the more industry we will have would increase our emission potential, which means we will be polluting more and we will reduce our, our status of a non -emission. So this project will be contributing basically to ensure that we will be the lowest average rainfall in the southern African region. So uh, scarcity of water in Namibia is the reality, and we see that with the frequent occurrence of droughts. The central areas of Namibia just receive a, on average about 400 millimeters of water per year, which is very low. That's why it becomes semi arid Along the coast here, especially the Rongo region, gets about an average of 50 millimeters per year of rainfall, and that makes it an arid climate. And in recent years, we have seen in Namibia recurrent uh, droughts occurring year after year, and uh, also uh, unpredictable rainfall patterns. We have seen those ones. Directly to the plant without, uh, uh, or into a, a nutrient medium, if I can say. So it's a closed nutrient system, so the plant is actually put in a nutrient medium and then it's able to absorb the nutrients directly. So this limits the losses that would happen if this water was going to be directly applied to a plant that has been uh, planted directly into the soil. And this has proven to be quite a success with other few stakeholders who are practicing this technology here in the coast. Um, uh, they are able to grow most of the vegetables that we require here in Namibia. And uh, um, I must also say that we still need to undertake some research on how we can be able to grow other, not all crops are possible to grow under hydroponics. For example, our cereals, our tree crops, uh, we still need to invest in research. Vice Chancellor of the University of Namibia and the Professor Russell Swangura, uh, who is not here at pres the present moment, former Vice Chancellor of the University of Namibia, as well as the entire UNAM team, for their joint efforts in facilitating the what <coughs> promises to be a long-term solution to, to potable water needs in the country. And then to the question of sea water decentralization has been at the forefront of my thoughts for many years. According to the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, water scarcity affects more than 40% of people around the world. This is an alarming figure that is projected to increase with the rise of global temperature as a result of climate change. The So have a glass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is water from the ocean. Anybody else want to try it? Anyone who wants to try it? 
I perhaps react for what I have uh, seen and experienced this morning, I should first thank the founding president of our republic, Dr. Nguyoma, who invited me to his office uh, a week ago to tell me about this uh, very important uh, initiative here in the coastal town of the Longo region, uh, in particular around this uh, uh, town Hendisbury. of Hendisbury. Um Upon being told what is going on, and the initiative, uh, Dr. Nuyoma called in uh, Dr. Professor Matengu so that at least the three of us could to discuss about this uh, this project and uh, and see what we can do in the future as uh, the climate change that is uh, facing the world and uh, Namibia is not of exception. Uh, we decided to come to the coast uh, and, uh, and see uh, with our own eyes in particular myself who never saw it before. So I decided I put my time aside and uh, I will join it. We have to move more uh, faster and collaborate and ensure that the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. Uh, we have a lot of uh, work done this area. Uh, we had a lot of negotiations with Areva, a lot of discussions with other funders. As I said already, we had a team of Palestinians that are doing exactly the same that you are trying to do there. We even managed to sneak into Israel and Palestine to go and check their online olive plantations and uh, we did a lot of work. Our challenge is that we do not want to work so much with the Israelis alone, but with uh, Palestinians also. And uh, we managed to have them on the ground here. They did soil analysis, and uh, as I already indicated, they alluded to the fact that our desert is alive. Our desert is apparently better than theirs. Now those are technical people. And uh, we will be able to do more better than what they are doing. Uh, those countries, while they are at war with each other, <laughs> the Palestinians and the Israelis, but they produce a lot of olive oil, for instance, uh, that uh, to such an extent that they export to us. But then they were saying that you are better. You can do far more better than what we are doing. Thank you very much, Founding Father. Uh, really, I cannot appreciate the Founding Father more than, uh, more than enough. Uh, the Secretary General is saying that uh, the Founding Father is a dreamer. What we are saying in Erongo, we are saying that the founding family is a strategic leader. Mm. Not only a dreamer, but somebody who put, a dreamer is somebody who is just dreaming, having visions, I mean, visualizing things. But the founding father put work <coughs> in motion. Whenever he means something, he is doing good in motion, like now, we are driving, he is driving a, a very good initiative. Uh, initially, we were funding further, we were also not aware. We were hesitant whether solar would be able to do this. Now, this came in now as an innovation. Uh, and it will help us a lot with, because one of the cost driving uh, factor in the production of water that we are bringing from Areva is energy. 
is a very, very serious cost driving factor. Why we pay heavy on water is because of the energy. Now we have a solution for energy. We just have to put more solar on the way. Uh, I know the Secretary General is far more uh, national leader. The governor is more a regional leader. <laughs> We talk about the coast to Omaruru, while the Secretary General wants to take water to Windu. This is the national. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But we are talking about the same thing. How to, how to get water, how to get abundance of water to, to, for irrigation, decent irrigation number one, and for uh, mitigating the recurrent drought that is uh, affecting our country. Uh, as much as we, we work together, we hope the university will come in. Uh, and we will approach the university. We will tell the university that this is where we went with the funding. This is what we think. You can take over the research component, uh, because the research component is not yet meant by any person, uh, 